Hello, so welcome to the next square of the 50 Stitches Crochet Along. And this week we're making the diamond stitch. So it makes this beautiful 3D diamond effect on the top. See it's nicely raised up there. It's a single sided stitch. And although it's a repeating pattern, this one can be quite awkward for getting your stitches in the right place and keeping your count right. So, oh. how do we make it? I'm going to be using a 3.5mm hook for this one. I'm going to start by chaining 31. Okay, so I've done the first three rows because they're quite simple. So, once you've done your chain, you're going to turn and make a single crochet in the third chain from your hook. And make a single crochet all the way down. So, including that turning chain, you've got 30 stitches. Then you're going to turn, chain one, and single crochet all the way back down again. Then you're going to turn, make the alternate turning chain, and then double crochet in every stitch. So your first three rows are a row of single crochet, another row of single crochet, and a row of double crochet. And you'll have 30 stitches in each row. So when we get to the end of that double crochet row, we're going to turn. And this is where our problem with counting stitches comes in. So before we start, I'm going to mark some stitches. So in our row of double crochet, put a stitch marker in the first stitch. Then I'm going to skip three, three, and put a marker in that next stitch. And I'm going to do the same all the way down the row. So one, two, three and a stitch marker in there. I'll just put one more over now. One, two, three. Okay, so these are where our front post trebles are going to go, so we won't be crocheting into the loops of those. So I'm just marking where those loops go. So now I'm going to mark some stitches in row two. So we're going to be going around the posts of some of the single crochet stitches. So I'm going to skip the first three, one, two, no, I'm going to skip the first two single crochet and in the third single crochet I'm just going to put a, a stitch mark around that post. And then I'm going to skip three, one, two, three, and then put another stitch marker around that post. So these is where we're we going to make our stitch front post stitches. So this is the best way if you're going to find trouble keeping count and unfortunately it is rather easy to do. Okay so let's start making our stitches. So our first stitch is going to be a front post treble. Okay so we're going to chain one Yarn around the hook twice and into that first marked single crochet I'm going to go around that post. So now I've gone around that post I can take that stitch marker out and make a treble crochet. So you're going around the post of the single crochet in row two. And pull through. So there is our first treble crochet. So we're not going to make a stitch into the loops of that first stitch. That's where our front post treble is. And I'm going to make a single crochet in the next three stitches. So I can now take that stitch marker out. So one, two, and three. So our next stitch is marked, because that is where our next front post treble is going to be in front of. So now we need to make a front post treble two together. It's a bit of a mouthful that one. But we're going to make it around the post of the single crochet we just used for our last front post treble. And we're going to make it around the next single crochet that we marked. So that's three, you skip three from that post, 
we just used and then single crochet around the post for the next stitch in row two. This is why we're using stitch marks, it's far easier to keep track of where your stitches are going using this. So to do the front post treble two together, start off as a normal treble, we go back round the same post we just used, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the next two loops. And we're going to leave the last two loops on our hook. So then we yarn over twice again and around that next post that I've marked, around the post, pull through the first two loops, pull through the second two loops, so we've now got three loops left on our hook, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And there we have front post treble two together. And this, this is how we make our diamonds pattern. So, you can see the stitch I've marked at the top there. We don't work in that one. And the next three stitches we make a single crochet. One, two, and three. So I'm going to take that stitch marker out now. Okay, so we need the next single crochet. So after the last leg of this front post treble two together, we're going to skip three single crochet. One, two, three and then round the post of this one. Okay, so we start off as we did before, and it's another front post treble. So around the post, the same single crochet that we finished the last front post treble with, and we'll pull through two loops, pull through the next two loops, but leave the last two loops on your hook. Then we start a treble again around the post of the stitch that we marked there in row two. Then yarn over, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two, and then pull through the last three loops. Go. Oops, split it on. Get that last loop back on the hook. There we go. Okay, so you can see it coming together. I'm going to continue like this all down, and I've got two stitches left. So oops, I'll just take that one out. So our last stitch is going to be a front post treble around the last. Uh, leg of the front post treble two together that we last made. So this time it's just a single treble. So around that same post, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through the last two loops. And then in that last stitch we just make a single crochet. Okay. So that is row four. Now after this row it is much much easier to keep track of where your stitches are going, but this first one can be really really awkward. So I really recommend you using those stitch markers for this row. Okay, so the next row is nice and easy. I'm going to turn, I'm going to take that stitch marker out, and chain one, and make the alternate turning chain in the first stitch. One, two, and move that stitch marker up. And now we're going to double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so, oh, and if you have these big loops and with your um, trebles two together, don't worry, they're going to get hidden. If you want to get rid of those, you have to, when you're doing your trebles, you have to pinch the yarn and move your 
yarn around your hook. The more you move your hook, the bigger those holes are. But they will get hidden. I'm terrible for making those holes. But the rest of the um, the rest of the stitch will hide them, so don't worry if you get those. And then just double crochet all across. I've got my 30 stitches, double crochet. And I'm going to turn and chain one. So now we're going to make the top part of our diamond stitch. Okay, so we're going to single crochet in the first two stitches. Pop a stitch marker in there. Okay, and now we're going to make a front post treble two together. And we're going to go around this post here and around the post top of that front post treble that we did in that first treble row. So we're just going to go right underneath that treble, pull through, and do the pull through the first two loops and then the second set of two loops. There's the last two on your hook. You know twice, and you go through both those posts there. Okay, so you just go through that gap made by those front post rebels. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. First two, second two, and pull through the last three loops. And there is that diamond square. So we've got our single crochets. We don't go into the unworked stitch behind the treble. Oops. That way. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay. So the stitch you're going to do in front post treble should always be line up with the bottom of this point here. So we're going to get that lovely diamond shape coming through. So we start the front post and to complete this one here we're going to go back around the same post we did before, pull through, pull through the first two loops and the next two loops, then start the next set of troubles and this we're going to go around the top of this set of troubles here. One, two loops, and then the last three loops. Okay, so you can see how that's now coming in nicely, and the points all line up. So we're going to do this for the whole row. So you do your front post two together around, you just push through underneath the set trebles from before, make three single crochet, do your front post two together around the post of before and carry on through this entire row to make that lovely set so of So coming back to the original square, the whole pattern is a repeat of rows five to eight. So you're going to do the row of front post trebles two together, do a row of single crochet, do the next row of front post trebles, so you just repeat the rows I just showed you. So you either start with a front post treble or you start with two single crochet and then the front post treble. Okay and that makes that diamond shape and you're just going to repeat those rows with a row of double crochet in between each of your treble rows. So for this stitch there's 21 rows in total and your last row is going to be a row of single crochet. Okay, on top of that last row of trebles. So for the border, nice and simple one, single crochet in each stitch across the top and bottom and down the sides you're going to make two double crochet in the side of every double crochet row and a single crochet in the side of each of those treble rows. Add an extra stitch in the corner to the turn 
and that is the diamond stitch. 